of who this woman is. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, amazing, amazing spirit before God. Um, I, Tom, one of the leaders reached out to Tom and, and, and told me all about her, about Charlene, and I got her number and everything. Well, Charlene got my number as well. I don't think it was minutes before I got the email and I got her number and I put it in my phone that she called me. <laughs> she was like, I heard you're going to be doing my Bible studies. This is who I am, where I live. And that night, we were in the Bible study. <laughs> yeah. This is her heart and she went after it. And as we've been studying the Bible, there's been some challenges, some things that um, have challenged her heart. But, and she had to take a step back. But the reason she took that step back is because she said she wanted this to be real. Yeah. That she wants this to be her relationship with God. And she took that week off and I encouraged her to pray and she prayed and she prayed with the sisters in the Philippines and then she called me back. Yep. <laughs> Auntie Denise, God has moved. I'm ready to continue studying the Bible. Amen. Amen. I think that was maybe. Was it? No. It was like a week and a half. A week and a half. Because we were praying, David and I, every day oh, for you. Thank you. Awesome. Yeah. Really good. Yeah, I remember that. I that time. Amen. Mm -hmm. So, but the amazing thing about um, Charlene is that she loves God. Yes. Mm -hmm. At the end of the day, she's already um, memorized Matthew 28. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Verse 18 to 20. <laughs> Our greatest commission. That's right. And that is her heart and her true love for God. Mm -hmm. And I want to encourage you with this. Proverbs 31, 30. It says, many women do noble things, but you surpass them all. Wow. Charm is deceptive and beauty is fleeting. But a woman who fears the Lord is to be praised. Amen. Amen. And Charlene, Amen. always hold on to your love and your fear for God. Amen. Because that will be your guiding compass to your forever. Remember we talked about it, your forever, forever relationship with God. Amen. Amen. I'm so excited to see you added to the church. And I know that God's going to make us great partners as we rock this area and meet more people, right? Amen. 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 Awesome. Awesome, All right, David, do you want to share something in Charlene? Yeah. I'm just very glad that she's being baptized. Amen. And, you know. I yeah. yeah, very happy. Amen. Thank you, love. I love you. Yeah, okay. I'm very happy. You want to share something? No, come, come. Uh, okay. A job? Okay. I don't know how to start this, but God only knows how is my heart now. You know, like, it's very overflowing happiness. And um, I, I can't imagine how my, how my life before, you know? Um, I can, I don't want to go that way, never. You know, I don't I don't want to do it again because that's the time that it really in my darkness. And I find out that how I struggle I am since I was I since I was young. But I only believe that there's someone never leave me. There's someone who always gave me hope. Someone will always remind me that you are an amazing human a person you can make it all the way even it's in my very very um very like uh, uh almost dying at the time but god's so amazing yes. he really works in me and then he always said to me that he really loves me Amen. Amen. and now this is this is what he said in ecclesiastes 3 11 he made everything beautiful in its time Amen. 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 And this is it now. Amen. This is the Thank time. you, Lord. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Amen. 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 Okay. I know you've you've been through a a lot of scriptures. You've studied the Bible out, and um, the one I always like to come back to because really, ever since this day until today, people have been making this decision. And deciding to put on Jesus as Lord just like 3,000 people did this day in Acts chapter 2 so I wanted to read that verse for you um, Acts 2 verse 36 it says this is Peter preaching the first gospel sermon and he says let all the house of Israel therefore know for certain 
that God has made him both Lord and Christ, this Jesus whom you crucified. Now when they heard this, they were cut to the heart, and they said to Peter and the rest of the apostles, Brothers, what shall we do? And Peter said to them, Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the forgiveness of your sins, and you will receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. For the promise is for you and for your children and for all who are far off. That would be us. And everyone whom the Lord our God calls to himself. And so it says in verse 41, those who received his word were baptized and there were added that day about 3,000 souls. Amen. So Amen. these were people who made the decision, you know, they, they, they hadn't been through all the different Bible studies, but they knew, they knew something was going on and they said, what are we supposed to do? And he said, you need to repent and be baptized for the forgiveness of your sins and you're gonna receive the gift of the Holy Spirit. So that's exactly what's gonna happen with you today. Amen. So a couple of questions I have for you. Uh, first one is, do you believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God and that God raised him from the dead? Yes, I do believe. You do, great, great. And what is your great confession? My great confession is Jesus is our Lord and our Savior. Amen, yeah. Yeah. all right. Because of that confession, I'm going to be able to, shortly out there in the ocean, baptize you in the name of the Father and of the Son and the Holy Spirit for the forgiveness of your sins and that you'll receive the gift of God's Spirit. Amen. 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 Right. Amen. I'm going to get him and help him, but he's doing Oh, sure, baptism. sure. And um, I get it now. Okay, good. Good. When someone becomes a disciple, yeah. they just go baptize other people. Yes, absolutely. I, I absolutely. woke up this morning, I got it, but I didn't uh, get it. You know, God is amazing. He has yeah. a way of, he loves us. He, do, he does, yeah. Amen. That's Are you awesome. talking about the baptism? Yeah. yeah, he says I get it now. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah then David could go do it then. <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, I just, mean, yeah, it just, it just came to me. Yeah. You know, you, you, yeah. you, you be, they yeah. become a disciple, then they can baptize. Yes. And there's actually more to it than that that you can get into, but yeah. it talks about why, what has happened with the priesthood, you know, the old uh, Jewish uh, system and the priesthood, mm -hmm. and what happened after in the New Testament times. But that's something, that's a, that's a discussion for another day. Thank you. Yeah. But yeah. There's a lot to that. Close your nose. David will be on one side. Okay. Yeah, come on. Yeah. I'm gonna have to not be socially distant here. Yeah. I'm gonna do yeah. this. I'm, I'm just gonna lay you back in the line. I just lay you back and bend your knees all right. It'll be very natural. Yeah. And then I'll just break it right back. All right.
Amen. 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 Amen.